Hi, first graders. Mrs. Val here. Welcome back to another Ruddy Jen mini lesson. Before I start this mini lesson, let me give a shout out to some first grade friends. These three friends shared their events charts with me. They sent them right to my email, cval at frontiercsd.org. I got a great events chart from Marissa Hanek. Thank you, Marissa. I got a great one from Quinn Griffin. And I got a great one from Mason Dresick. Boys and girls, if you want me to give you a shout out in my Ready Gen MIDI lesson videos, send me something on my email that I know that you've been working so hard. And now you can show that, share that with me and I'll share it with all the first graders. Let me remind you, we're working on Unit 4, Planting for the Future. And we have read Arbor Day Square. You remember that one? And now we're working on the family tree. Today what I want you to think about is, I want you to think about when you are reading, you're always making connections. Even when you don't know you're doing this, your brain is doing it. Readers make connections with a book to themselves. So they say, hmm, how is this book like me? Or sometimes readers are thinking about how this book is like the world around me, the world I live in. And sometimes readers say, oh yeah, this book is like another book. You make a connection between two books. That's what I want you to do today as you're reading or listening. Okay. I want you to use these two books. I want you to think about Arbor Day Square and Family Tree. I want you to think about how those books are the same. And specifically, I want you to think about the characters. I want you to think about how Katie and the boy are alike and Katie and the boy are different. So what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to compare. And you can use that using a Venn diagram, a comparison chart. I just took a piece of paper, I drew two circles, I wrote compare at the top. Over here I drew my best Katie that I could. And over here I drew the boy from Family Tree. Now these circles, you've worked with Venn diagrams before, I know. They show how two things are the same where the circles overlap and how, two, how they are different, two things are different. Now the reason I have these sticky notes over here is because I got you started. I have a way Katie and the boy are the same, a way Katie is different from the boy, and a way the boy is different from Katie. So I know in your brain you're already thinking about this. Right? So let's peel off how they're the same. Oh, they both care for trees, for sure. Here's a way, one thing that's just about Katie. Let me peel that off. Katie plants a tree. And here's something that's just about the boy. The boy protects a tree. I want you to make circles like this and come up with a few other ways, how they're the same and how they're different. As you're reading today, pages 24 to 33, I want you to think about vocabulary words. Here's some of our old vocabulary words. Let's quick review those words. Years, a year on earth is 365 days. Pastures, usually wide open fields where animals graze, chopped to cut into small pieces. Here's some new ones. Maybe these words are new for you. Maybe you already own them. Listen for widen to make something wider. Listen for protested. Protested is to express a resistance to something, like just say no. And assistance is when you ask for help. Assistance is help. So you're listening today for widen, protested, and assistance. And then you're going to work on that comparison chart, pages 24 through 33. Great job, boys and girls.